All right, we're here with our nutshell pram. Excuse me, we put the bottom paint on. It's not actually bottom paint, it's uh, Kirby's marine topside paint. We used uh, the color C red, which has kind of got a reddish brown tint to it. Kind of a classic color we like. You see it uh, a lot of places, especially down on the Gulf Coast on skiffs. And here's everybody's favorite part. Pull the tape. So when we applied this paint, uh, we used Kirby in Florida. It's a whole different scenario using Kirby here in uh, not Florida, further up Hampton Roads area, Virginia, 72 degrees. Humidity's not bad as opposed to Florida where it was always not just humid, but tropical. So we uh, did a little test patch just using straight out of the can and uh, it started tacking up pretty quick. We uh, did a little brushing and then we did a roll and tip and uh, found out we needed to add, we put about a, used about a third of a can, put in two capfuls of the uh, Kirby conditioner and we could have used a little more. You know, and typical when we're painting or when I'm painting, First little area this is kind of the learning area. Then as we move further back, start getting in a flow and figure out how big of a section we can do. Cause we'll roll it, we'll go this way and then that way. And then we'll, if we do a section, we'll, we'll lightly brush back into it. Try to keep a wet edge, do another section and roll it both ways lightly, like fingertip pressure and then fingertip pressure on a brush to take just a little top off. And so this side, which is starboard side, laying down pretty flat, really happy with it. It was, uh, I did two coats. I did a first coat and went back around it was so small, did a hot coat, talked to George. I said, George is, you know, can, is hot coating okay? And he says, ah, people run into problems. Sometimes they get a little alligatoring. So do we care too much? on the bottom of a little eight foot pram that's gonna get drug on and off the beach. Not so much, do the fish care, no. So hot coating, and then the next day, he said, oh gosh, what'd he say? Sand or don't sand? I'll have to check with him again. Uh, if it, you know, if it's tacked up, if it's hard, you get my, oh, he said sand, if, um, if you want to get rid of some imperfections, but otherwise you can, it's not cured completely and it will uh, go right over it. So if he's in here checking on me, fact checking, he can jump in and say that's true, not true. But uh, hey, every uh, skipper has a paint and every paint has a skipper. So it's, you know, full disclosure or disclaimer, full disclaimer that, you know, when you get it, you do it the way you want to do it. You like to do it. One of our tips with paint is, um, we usually start with the color we want and work our way backwards. I started off on this boat wanting to paint it like a Baltimore and Ohio classic steam engine with dark blue and dark black and a little gold pinstripe and went rocking and rolling on that. I talked to uh, Kristen at Total Boat, said, hey, can we get some of these colors? Because they send us uh, free stuff because we let them use free pictures and we like their paint. And she said, sure. So she sent me the colors and then uh then i mentioned my paint scheme to skipper and she said nope so we've got some beautiful blue and black if uh, somebody needs it we'll we pass along to you if you're in the area or i'll see if uh if i can work some deal out with kristen but anyway so in that case i started with the colors i wanted work backwards in skipper's scheme she wanted this uh you know maroonish brown bottom with the uh, creamy white sides and some, uh, you know, kind of a tint of yellow slash apricot on the inside, uh, similar to what we did Barbara Sheila. So, happened to see something, oh, 
Oh, everybody, hold on there. Everybody, everybody still with me? Oh, I hope you're still there. <laughs> the, uh, this is uh, videoing at its finest, but you know, you get what you pay for. So I talked to George and uh, saw something he had posted recently and uh, decided with this wood, I did want some protection on it. So first layer protections, this uh, total boat epoxy primer put it on primarily just to kind of get it to soak in and seal the grain and you can kind of see there would send that little bits there to get a little bit of a, I'll call it a barrier coat on the paint even though that's not the traditional term of barrier coat just to seal up that wood so I talked to George and said can I put your paint over this two-part epoxy primer he said uh, yep so we are and where you see these spots, I'll jump around a little bit here, where I sanded the primer completely off. I'm going to, this is going to be reprimed. And uh, in this case, since we got some Kirby primer, we'll do that. Or we could use Total Boat again, either or. But since I had gray primer and had white primer, I put white paint on the sides, I'm going to put white primer underneath in case it gets a little scratched. There won't be some gray showing through. So we start with the colors. Want this uh, dark color. It started really with the color we wanted for the outside is, let me find it over here, is Maynard Bray white. It's kind of like your Maynard Bray off-white possibly. Because Maynard came up with a color that's not your refrigerator white. He wanted something with a little bit of cream or a little bit of, you know, take it a couple of notches off of that white. We used it on another boat. We really liked it. So, and Maynard was one of the designers of this boat. And he's been very helpful answering questions through email about things we can do or things we could do or things we shouldn't do with the construction. Any variations from the plan, I've checked with him Make sure I'm not doing something goofy. So that's going to be a kind of a tribute color to Maynard on there. And um, since we're getting the Kirby in that, we'll stick with that type of paint. Since we're doing Kirby paint, so we want to stick with uh, Kirby thinner and uh, Kirby primer. So we've got all that came in a care package the other day. Along with some pine tar soap and a clean t-shirt. So I think George and Sherry were trying to tell me something. Or Skipper called them and said, please. Send Clark some uh, soap. <laughs> but, uh, so that's where we're at with this boat. We've got next up is the uh, white primer on the sides. But before I do that, I'm going to tape tape off the uh, where is it at? Magic finger. These high high uh, tech graphics here. I'm gonna mask off this gunnel because the way I paint, I'd get paint all over it. Some people with good brush and good skills could just go right along the edge and not have to mask. And does anyone care? Are they going to be looking underneath the gunnel on this to see if the paint's even or not? No. But, you know, as sloppy a painter as I am, I mean, the paint would end up down here on the side. It would be seen. So it's just easy. Take a few minutes, run some tape. Not too worried. Just use the cheapo. Well, it's not that cheap. Good old, good old blue masking tape it's made by scotch but then when we go to do uh, between the bottom paint and the uh, side paint we use some of this higher dollar tape and some of it i don't remember which color is which but one is a fine line and one is a easy release so you with the fine line you press it down you don't get that paint bleed under the edge of the tape and with the quick release you're not peeling off your new paint job so different applications uh jeff i think is how you say his name I have two daughters boat works gave us those tips years ago so we'll uh we'll do that when we go to tape this line here so like i said oops, that's kind of sticky still the um two coats i did a hot coat meaning i started i went around came back and the boat's so small i just went around came back again and uh, so it's got two coats on it now and this is where I messed where I was goofing around last night just slopping some on there and uh, that's why I use tape because you, you know unless you might be good at freehanding I'm not so 
they don't have that. And we'll uh, keep rocking and rolling on this boat. And this is the, uh, still drying, but this is the low luster. I don't know if it's the Kirby's word for satin or if it's a kind of a step below satin. So we'll uh, see, we'll give you some more shots of it when it's uh, fully dry here in a few days. So that about does it.